Deuteronomy chapter 1 These are the words which Moses spoke to all Israel on this side of the Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain opposite Suf, between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizahab. It is eleven days' journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir to Gadesh Barnea. Now it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spoke to the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had given him as commandments to them. After he had killed Shion, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who dwelt at Astaroth in Edrei. On this side of the Jordan in the land of Moab, Moses began to explain this law, saying, The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey, and go to the mountains of the Amorites, to all the neighboring places in the plain, in the mountains and in the lowland, in the south and on the sea coast, to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give to them and their descendants after them. And I spoke to you at that time, saying, I am alone not able to bear you. The Lord your God has multiplied you, and here you are today, as the stars of heaven, in multitude. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are and bless you as he has promised you. How can I alone bear your problems and your burdens and your complaints? Choose wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men from among your tribes, and I will make them heads over you. And you answered me and said, The thing which you have told us to do is good. So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and knowledgeable men, and made them heads over you, leaders of thousands, leaders of hundreds, leaders of fifties, leaders of tens, and officers for your tribes. Then I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Here are the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother or the stranger who is with him. You shall not show partiality in judgment. You shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid in any man's presence, for the judgment is God's. The case that is too hard for you, bring to me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do. So we departed from Horeb, and went through all that great and terrible wilderness which you saw on the way to the mountains of the Amorites, as the Lord our God had commanded us. Then we came to Kadesh Barnea, and I said to you, You have come to the mountains of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. Look, the Lord your God has set the land before you, Go up and possess it, as the Lord God of your fathers has spoken to you. Do not fear or be discouraged. And every one of you came near to me and said, Let us send men before us, and let them search out the land for us, and bring back word to us of the way by which we should go up, and of the cities into which we shall come. The plan pleased me well. So I took twelve of your men, one man from each tribe, And they departed and went up into the mountains, and came to the valley of Eskol, and spied it out. They also took some of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down to us, and they brought back word to us, saying, It is a good land which the Lord our God is giving us. Nevertheless, you would not go up, but rebelled against the command of the Lord your God, and you complained in your tents, and said, Because the Lord hates us, He has brought us out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us. Where can we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our hearts, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and fortified up to heaven. Moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakim there. Then I said to you, Do not be terrified or afraid of them. The Lord your God, who goes before you, he will fight for you, according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes, and in the wilderness where you saw how the Lord your God carried you, as a man carries his son, in all the way that you went until you came into this place. Yet, for all that, 
you did not believe the Lord your God, who went in the way before you to search out a place for you to pitch your tents, to show you the way you should go, in the fire by night and in the cloud by day. And the Lord heard the sound of your words, and was angry, and took an oath, saying, Surely not one of these men of this evil generation shall see that good land of which I swore to give to their fathers, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he shall see it. And to him and his children I am given the land on which he walked, because he wholly followed the Lord. The Lord was also angry with me for your sakes, saying, Even you shall not go in there. Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he shall go in there. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones and your children, who you say will be victims, who today have no knowledge of good and evil, they shall go in there. To them I will give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Then you answered and said to me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight, just as the Lord our God commanded us. And when every one of you had girded on his weapons of war, you were ready to go up into the mountain. And the Lord said to me, Tell them, Do not go up nor fight, for I am not among you, lest you be defeated before your enemies. So I spoke to you, yet you would not listen, but rebelled against the command of the Lord and presumptuously went up into the mountain. And the Amorites who dwelt in that mountain came out against you and chased you as bees do, and drove you back from Seir to Horma. Then you returned and wept before the Lord. But the Lord would not listen to your voice, nor give ear to you. So you remained in Kadesh many days, according to the days that you spent there. Deuteronomy chapter 2 then we turned and journeyed into the wilderness of the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke to me, and we skirted Mount Seir for many days. And the Lord spoke to me, saying, You have skirted this mountain long enough. Turn northward, and command the people, saying, You are about to pass through the territory of your brethren, the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. Therefore watch yourselves carefully. Do not meddle with them. For I will not give you any of their land, no, not so much as one footstep, because I have given Mount Seir to Esau as a possession. You shall buy food from them with money that you may eat, and you shall also buy water from them with money that you may drink. For the Lord your God has blessed you in all the work of your hand. He knows you're trudging through his great wilderness. These forty years the Lord your God has been with you. You have lacked nothing. And when we pass beyond our brethren, the descendants of Esau, who dwell in Seir, away from the road of the plain, away from Elath and Ezion Geber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said to me, Do not harass Moab, nor contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land as a possession, because I have given Ar to the descendants of Lot as a possession. The Emim have dwelt there in times past, a people as great and numerous and tall as Anakim. They were also regarded as giants, like Anakim, but the Moabites called them Emim. The Horites formerly dwelt in Seir, but the descendants of Esau dispossessed them and destroyed them before them, and dwelt in their place, just as Israel did to the land of their possession, which the Lord gave them. Now rise and cross over the valley of Zered. So we crossed over the valley of Zered. And the time we took to come from Kadesh Barnea until we crossed over the valley of Zered was thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of war was consumed from the midst of the camp, just as the Lord had sworn to them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them, to destroy them from the midst of the camp until they were consumed. So it was, when all the men of war had finally perished from among the people, that the Lord spoke to me, saying, this day you are to cross over at Ar, the boundary of Moab. And when you come near the people of Ammon, do not harass them or meddle with them. For I will not give you any of the land of the people of Ammon as a possession, because I have given it to the descendants of Lot as a possession. 
That was also regarded as a land of giants. Giants formerly dwelt there, but the Ammonites called them Zazumin, a people as great and numerous and tall as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they dispossessed them and dwelt in their place, just as he had done for the descendants of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Horites from before them. They dispossessed them and dwelt in their place, even to this day. And Avon, who dwelt in the villages as far as Gaza, the Kaphtorim, who came from Kaphtor, destroyed them and dwelt in their place. Rise, take your journey and cross over the river Arnon. Look, I have given into your hand Shion, the Amorite, king of Heshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and engage him in battle. This day I will begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the nations under the whole heaven, who shall hear the report of you, and shall tremble and be in anguish because of you. And I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth of Sion, king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will keep strictly to the road, and I will turn neither to the right nor to the left. You shall sell me food for money, that I may eat, and give me water for money, that I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot, just as the descendants of Esau who dwell in Seir and the Moabites who dwell in Ar did for me, until I cross the Jordan to the land which the Lord our God is giving us. But Shion king of Heshbon would not let us pass through, for the Lord your God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into your hand, as it is this day. And the Lord God said to me, See, I have begun to give Shion and his land over to you. Begin to possess it, that you may inherit his land. Then Shion and all his people came out against us to fight at Jahaz. And the Lord our God delivered him over to us. So we defeated him, his sons and all his people. We took all his cities at that time, and we utterly destroyed the men, women and little ones of every city. We left none remaining. We took only the livestock as plunder for ourselves, with the spoil of the cities which we took. From Arar, which is on the bank of the river Arnon, and from the city that is on the ravine, as far as Gilead, there was not one city too strong for us. The Lord our God delivered all to us. Only you did not go near the land of the people of Ammon, anywhere along the river Yabok, or to the cities of the mountains, or wherever the Lord our God had forbidden us.